so hey welcome back to max programming and in this video we are going to see how you can use import and export in node.js instead of uh, require and module.exports so uh, this is basically called esm which is which is known as es modules and uh, we can use it now in the supported versions of node.js and it's it's the actually the modern syntax that javascript follows and it's still kind of experimental so it's it's kind of hidden to use it now let's create an express server right over here and let's see how we can basically use uh, es modules in node so the first thing i am going to do is i'm going to say npm init dash y so basically i'm just initializing uh, node app using npm we got the package.json file and now let's actually uh, install the uh, express package so I'll just say npm i express okay we'll install express and that will install express and now I'll create an index.js file so oh I'm I'm just using an i which is new item okay instead of powershell and that will create me okay that's a problem okay so I can use an i index.js and right here I have my file and let's open up open it up with code okay with visual studio code now uh, you got your index.js file you got your uh, node modules uh, package.json package lock.json and uh, inside of package.json if we take a look you'll notice we have in dependencies we have express okay so that's done now let's try to use it so normally what would you do is you would say const express is equal to require and then you require express and then what you do is you create an app so let's say const app is equal to express you invoke express and then you say app dot listen app dot listen to port any port let's say 5000 and then you pass in a callback function you just say console log listening to 5000 okay now you got all that done and then you create routes okay you you just basically work on your express application so let's just do that and we get request and response and now we are going to send the response so we say res.send hello or let's say hello world now this is your normal express application now this is the syntax that is um, you know now kind of old okay the require syntax and also if you create another file you need to use module.export so the modern syntax of javascript is import and export so let's just run this file first of all so i'll just say node index.js and it says listening on port 5000 basically it's just listening okay it, it it will work if we open it up if we open up localhost 5000 it will uh, work totally fine and you you see we get hello world but now we don't want to use require okay we want to use what's called import and export now to use that you go you have to go to your packet.json and yeah you have to say type is equal to module okay so you have to set the type to module now basically there are two ways of doing this the first one is to change your file names to MD, mjs okay instead of js uh, they should be mjs and that would totally work fine okay you don't need this type module if you do that but it's not also good okay one once you uh, you know you have to rename all of your javascript file to mjs so instead why not just put the type to module okay so your whole app becomes um, you can use import export in your whole app so once you do that once you add the type as module you can go back to your index.js and you can just uh, change this imp uh, require to import so now you can just say import express from express and so now you can use imports and exports previously you could not use that uh, inside of uh, node.js but now you can so hit save and now if i 
just stop the server and if I say node index.js again you see it's still working and we have our file saved okay so it's the latest changes and now we can go back and we can refresh and you see it's still working so that's uh, one thing I wanted to show you that you can use import uh, and export now and if I create a new file so if I say you know uh, module.js or whatever now inside of this file I can still uh, let's say I create a function so if I say const um, say hi and uh, then I and I and I accept the name and then I simply say console or I just return hi and then I add the name okay so that's what I do and then previously what I had to do is module.exports is equal to whatever I want to export or there were a couple of ways to do that but now when we said okay we can use modules we can just say export say hi okay so that will uh, or you can say export default say hi so that will uh, only export say hi I mean uh, say hi you can you can import it directly just like you did with Express but you can even say something like export an object with say hi okay that's also uh, very useful and that's what most people do so once you have done that you can just import this module inside of your uh, any any of your file okay so you can just say import and then we want to import something from dot slash module now uh, keep in mind one thing that you uh, you cannot use only module right over here previously if you use um, require you can use the file name only and no resolves that but now you have to use dot js in the end okay it needs that so now you can just import say hi and then let's try it out so I'll just console log say hi and then let's put up my name and let's go ahead and run it so I'll just exit out of that process and you see I get higher smart so that's basically how you use it and if you export default say hi so if I remove the braces now okay and now you can basically only import you have the functionality to only import this okay and then I can go back and then I can restart the server and you see I get the same thing I Usman. So that's how you import and export uh, in Node.js and that's how you use, you use ES modules in Node.js. Now this video was inspired by Ken C. Dodd's blog post about super simple ES modules in Node.js. Now you should check this out. It's a very nice uh, blog post that you know he has a demo about getting the files from uh, the directory and then he imports that and then tries to run it and it fails and then he shows you how how to do that and then it actually and then it works so uh, it's it's a very short and sweet blog post and I hope you liked this video if you did please leave a like subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching